Why Russian bombs constantly fall on heads of Russians themselves? Ukrainian army revealed reason. Russian aviation regularly drops bombs on the heads of the Russians themselves. This is due to technical malfunctions and negligence of pilots or ground personnel. Ilya Yevlash, speaker of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, said on air of the telephone. This can happen for a number of reasons. Directly, there may be a human factor or a pilot's error. Or, for example, an error of the maintenance personnel who directly attached this bomb, Yevlash emphasized. He added that such cases also result from some defects and breakdowns directly in the aircraft itself due to wear and tear on the side, including this could happen directly during the approach to strike. When the plane accelerates and drops this flight module, it may at some point become detached, says the speaker. Yevlash noted that cases when Russian planes drop bombs on Russian territory occur quite regularly and are not isolated. The Russians themselves choose this path and now these bombs are falling on their own heads, he stated. Recently, the media reported that a Russian plane dropped a bomb on a village in the Krasnodar region of the Russian Federation. As Astra writes, citing informed sources, after the fall, the bomb exploded. This happened in the Russian village of Vorontsovka. The Russians hush up such cases and call them unexpected derailment of ammunition from an aircraft. It is worth noting that there have previously been reports of Russian aircraft dropping aerial bombs on Russian territory. At the end of April, a Russian plane dropped another aerial bomb on the Belgorod region. According to media reports, these were 21 aerial bombs that suddenly fell on Russian populated areas recently or on occupied territories in March and April of this year. French army is fighting in Ukraine. Shocking claim. France has sent soldiers from its foreign legion to Ukraine. Stephen Bryan, former assistant to the U.S. Defense Minister, wrote about this in his article in the Asia Times media outlet. He said that this military group has started fighting in Donbass. France has sent its first troops officially to Ukraine. They have been deployed in support of the Ukrainian 54th Independent Mechanized Brigade in Slavyansk. The French soldiers are drawn from France's 3rd Infantry Regiment, which is one of the main elements of France's Foreign Legion, the Asia Times says. The initial group of French troops numbers around 100. This is just the first tranche of around 1,500 French Foreign Legion soldiers scheduled to arrive in Ukraine. These troops are being posted directly in a hot combat area and are intended to help the Ukrainians resist Russian advances in Donbass. The first 100 are artillery and surveillance specialists. Brian emphasized that Moscow will not accept the increase in the number of foreign soldiers in Ukraine and will deal a heavy blow. For months, French President Emmanuel Macron has been threatening to send French troops to Ukraine. He has found little or no support from NATO countries outside of support from Poland and the Baltic states. The decision to send foreign legionnaires is itself a peculiar French compromise. France is not deploying its home army and, besides the small number of officers, the men sent are not French citizens. Earlier, Russia's foreign intelligence top brass said any French military unit sent to Ukraine to help it fight Russia would be a priority target for the Russian army. Sergei Narishkin warned France after the Kremlin received information that Paris is preparing to dispatch a contingent of 2,000 troops to Ukraine to fight against Russia. The French contingent will become a priority and legitimate target for attacks by the Russian armed forces. This means that the fate of all Frenchmen who have ever come to the territory of the Russian world with a sword would await it, Narishkin said. The current leadership of France does not care about the deaths of ordinary French people or about the concerns of the generals, he added.